<clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Glamour here. So welcome to our live Q&A today. It's been a long time since I've done a uh, live Q&A or even just a live event period but on this channel I think it's been almost a year maybe a little over a year so I thought it was time for another Q&A let's talk crochet <laughs> all right guys let me know if anyone's in here with me say hi meanwhile I'll just wait <laughs> or maybe I'll tell you a little bit about what's been going on um let me see we're still living in an RV. Oh, you know what? Actually, the last time that I was doing a live Q&A, I was in my home in Washington State. So, yeah, um, things have changed. I'm down here, and we're down here permanently. Hey, there's there's Lily. Hi, Lily. <laughs> um, she says, you're live again. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I was in my home the last time that I, that I did a Q&A here in this channel, but now we're in the RV, and it looks like we might be in this RV for, like, another year. Eek. I'm getting tired of it, though. <laughs> Hi, Regina. How are you? Thanks for joining me. <laughs> and if you guys have any comments or questions for me, feel free to leave them whether it's questions about a project that I've posted or just a crochet question, period. <laughs> or just to let me know what you've been crocheting lately. I always like to hear what y'all are doing. Okay, let me, I know that, um, and if you do leave a question or a comment, just know that it will probably take um, maybe a minute or maybe 30 seconds because there's, um, what do you call it? I don't know what to call it. I forgot. See, it's been so long since I've done a live event. Um, yeah, it just kind of, when you leave the question, or even when I'm talking, it doesn't really show up until <laughs> a couple seconds later. So Lily says, I'm practicing how to crochet the linen stitch, thinking of making washcloths, kitchen towels, and shower gloves with, with it. Have you checked it out? Oh, no, I haven't. I've just been so busy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll have to check it out. Um, and there's Plectomaniac. I don't know what Plecto is, but Plectomaniac um, says, hello. Hi. <laughs> Cheryl Smith. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, it's been so long since I've talked to you. I'm so glad that you're in here today. Yay. <laughs> awesome. So, one, two, two of the ladies in here um, also belong to my Facebook group page, pages. Um, so I, I know them a little, I know them uh, probably a little bit more than all my other subscribers just because we talk a lot in Facebook. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, I, uh, you, so you're practicing the linen stitch. I don't even know what the linen stitch looks like. I'll definitely have to check it out. Okay, Plectomaniac says her name is Irene. <laughs> okay, hi, Irene. So don't forget, if you have any comments or questions for me, just go ahead and leave them. I uh, Most of y'all know what's, what's going on in my life because even during my tutorials, I pretty much let y'all know. I talk through them. I chit-chat through my tutorials. Um, so most of y'all know what's going on in my life, but if you have any questions for me, I'd love to take them. Pat Jevons, hi, um, says, hi, I finally got to see you live as I live in the UK. Oh, yay. <laughs> so I wonder what time it is over there. Is it, it's probably evening time, right? Um, yeah. Let me see, I think there's refreshing okay Lily says I wrote to you on Facebook about how you should have a room for crafting in the size of the <laughs> I know it <coughs> I used to have a crafting room about the size of this whole RV in my house in Washington but then I gave that room to my husband and he used it as his weight room and office and so I took the smallest um, bedroom that we had in the house there was four bedrooms in the house I used the smallest one um, towards the end so yeah the smallest one was bigger than this even but yeah I missed my craft room <laughs> Oh, gosh, yes. I mean, just being able to see all my yarn and just being able to go grab a hook when I want it because it's right there visible. You know, I had a little table right here next to me with all my little 
um, knickknacks that I needed. But yeah, oh well, we'll do what we got to do. I'm just glad that I'm here um, with my Glamour Girls. And so that was, you know, that was the... Uh, that was the downside of coming over here, but I'm willing to sacrifice for my for my grandbabies. <laughs> okay, um, I didn't finish reading Lily's comment. She says, "Why are you not selling the house and buy one where you are now?" Probably very rude to ask. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, well, actually, no, that's okay. No question is uh, is well. Actually, um, as long as they're all rated G questions, I don't want anyone. Any, like if there's any gentleman in here, I don't want any gentleman um, getting, uh, making inappropriate remarks. I guess that's the word I could use. So no, I'm willing to share about my life. Um, whoa, it's really washed out when I get close. Um, as a matter of fact, um, Lily, you saw my video where I had to take everything down. I have a vanity right there filled with makeup. I've got a big old tall case with drawers that I had to lift up and move. But anyway, I had to take everything down from all the RV, any countertops, any bookshelves, any anything. Because when you're moving an RV, you know, it'll topple over while you're driving. So I had to take it all down. And because we were going to go get it inspected, we didn't even know that RVs needed to be inspected. So we had to go get it inspected. Once it was inspected, we were going to go register it and get our tags. Um, so anyway, I go to do that. And I thought, ooh, I'm going to go a step further now that I'm done. I'm going to put all the slide ins. And because this, um, I don't know if you can see. No, you can't. Yeah, you see that frame right there? All this right here. I'm not pointing the right way, am I? Yeah, all this right here, all this frame slides in about two and a half feet. So it like touches the vanity and then the entertainment slides in. And then I've got two slide slide outs um, in the living room as well. The whole kitchen, the, the uh, refrigerator butts up against the counter, the couches come in. So anyway, I did everything and I thought I'm going to surprise him and I'm going to have it all ready, all the slide outs in. So all he has to do is back up his truck and haul and hook it up and haul the RV over there. It'll be easy because he was he usually gets off of work at five and he was going to be getting off at three so he could come and do this. But I wanted to surprise him and um, and have it all done for him. And I almost did, except one slide out. Um, it wouldn't come in and uh, slide out that we had already tested and knew that it worked. Um, so we were worried that we were going to have problems with the other one, but we didn't. Everything came in except that one. So we work at it for like maybe an hour um, to figure out what might be wrong with it. We tried to do it manually. It wasn't working. It turns out the motor that runs that slide out was weak. So <laughs> half hour later, all the stuff I had just taken down and put on the bed and all through the living room and bathroom and stuff and kitchen, I had to go and put every single thing back, like just about two hours later. I'm like, oh. So my point is that Lily asked me, why don't I sell my house in Washington <laughs> and buy one here? That's what this whole story was leading to, is we were actually going to do that in like two weeks. Um, but now the money that we were going to use to take the road trip up there is going to be spent on fixing the slide out and that's going to be like six hundred dollars ah, so yeah that kind of put a threw a wrench in our plan <laughs> um, and we have to get it done because it's illegal to not have up-to-date tags here so anyway i'm missing a bunch of comments but so we definitely will be selling our house we want to go up there and get the rest of our stuff and put it in storage because obviously we can't put it in here put it in storage and um yeah, and then just close up the house and try to sell it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go on. Cheryl says, I have been working on a Tinkerbell outfit for my granddaughter. Oh, you haven't posted any pictures, have you? I don't think I've seen a Tinkerbell outfit on Facebook yet. Um, I'd love to see it. Okay, Ben Bendao Kaula says, hi, Glamour. Hi, <laughs> welcome. And Pat says it is 4 32 p.m okay yeah so in the uk it's evening or afternoon i guess evening time and over here it's 10 30. <laughs> so yeah that's that's a big time difference 
um, Stitched with Love by Loretta says, Hey, Glamma, I'm so excited. I have been watching you forever and I finally got you live. I love you. <laughs> I know, Loretta, you've been, I love you too. I know you've been trying to figure out how to do the live event. You always miss me. So, yay. So I'm so glad that you're here. It's awesome. Loretta is the one that actually won my Tunisian scarf giveaway. So, yeah, I sent that to her and, uh, yep, sent it with love. And I even sprayed a little bit of my perfume on it so she could, you know, wear it and know that Glamour loves her. <laughs> it's like a nice warm hug from Glamour, even wearing, even wearing my perfume. <laughs> okay. So Lily says, what kind of inspection does your RV need? Oh, my goodness. Do you know how silly the inspection is? They don't even, because it's a fifth wheel. So it's not like a motorhome that drives um you, you pull it with a truck. So the only thing, and it's only right down the street, like right down the block. I'm like, why don't y'all just come here? Because all they check are to see if the brake lights work. Um, that's it. That's it. Just to see if the lights work in case we're on the road and we're braking or signal and, and to see if the turn signals work on it. That's it. So all of this work just to make sure that the lights work. And I'm like, if they don't want to see how the tires hold up or anything like that, why can't they just come here, have us hook up the truck, and show them that the blinkers work, the um, whatchamacallit, brake lights work. Ugh, what a hassle. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if I should turn that light off. Let me try something. The only thing is, see, I'm more my natural color now, but it gets grainier. So, sorry. Let me know which you prefer. Do you want me to put the light back on? Or um, is this better? Because it's not, I'm not so washed out. Let me know. Okay, so let me go on. <clears throat> oh, Cheryl says, Glamo, I just wanted to pop in and say hello and see your pretty face. Oh, <laughs> I need to run. Love you. We'll, we'll shoot you a line on Facebook. All right, Cheryl, thank you so much for joining me. I love you too. And I'm so glad that we got to to chit chat a little bit in here. I'll see you on Facebook. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Loretta says, I'm smiling all over because <laughs> you finally got into a live event. Is that why? <laughs> That's so cool. I'm so glad you did. And she says, I'm so excited. And oh gosh, yes, it smells so good. I think the perfume that I use, because this that I used on the scarf is my favorite go-to perfume. And I don't know which one of it, but it's Coach. And Coach has um, a few different perfumes, but I can't read it. Maybe if I hold it up to the camera, I doubt it. But anyway, this is the perfume that I uh, that I spray. But this is my favorite, favorite one. If I'm going to a, a fancy place, this is the one I always wear. I've got a bunch of perfumes up there, but this is my favorite. This one, and I also, prior to this one, prior to... Um, even finding out about this one, my favorite was Aqua de Joa. So yeah. And I wonder, does your scarf still smell a little bit like my like my coach perfume? <laughs> um, Pat says, in the UK, I think we call an RV a mobile home. Yeah. My phone. Um, I had to leave my phone in the living room because it's still charging. Um, so let me see. Uh, so you call it a mobile home. Okay, well, we have mobile homes here too, but those are more like homes, homes. This is more like what you travel with. You actually travel around, you know, with it. Um, so there are fifth wheels that you pull with the truck or there's, what are the other ones called? Hey, I can't think. My glamour brain is failing me. Truck, travel trailer? Yeah, maybe a travel trailer, and then there's a motor home, the one that you can drive. And we've owned three of them here in the past year. They're all used. This is probably the newest one, but my daughter lives directly next door. I could, like, reach out the window and touch her RV. That's how close she is, so that's awesome. Um, so, yeah. Lily says, seriously? Haha, -ha, that's ridiculous. Can't you just video it and <laughs> And take it down there. LOL. Sorry. I get that you feel it's sort of a waste. Yeah, it is. It's silly and sort of funny. Yeah, kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know about the funny part. <laughs> but Pat says this is better. Oh, you like the lighting better? Okay, good. 
Um, I know it might be a little bit more grainy, but at least you get um, true color here. And it's not even really true color because this is a lot yellower than what it looks like. Um, Loretta says, how are you, how are your gorgeous glamour girls? I hope they are fine. My granddaughters are okay. Other than Chloe, Kylie is in school and Chloe is at the doctor. Oh, she's not feeling well today. Oh, is it like a stomach virus or something? Um, but my glamour girls are doing good. They, um, their dad had them this weekend, um, Thursday through, he took them to school today. So Thursday through Monday. Um, so they were here all weekend. Um, they they kept wanting to come to Glamaw's house, so they were here <laughs> a lot. I took them to the river, and if you were on Facebook, you saw a new swimming hole that I found that I love because I don't have to worry that they're going to get um, what do you call it um, taken with the with the current because other parts of the river the current is really strong, and especially my little Glamaw girl, she's so skinny and she you know it could take her easily. So I found a spot where I can sit on the uh, embankment, or I don't know what you call it, but right there, put my feet in, and then it's literally the water um, right there, a big old area is only about that deep, and then it gets more shallow, yeah, more shallow, and then as you walk on, it gets even deeper, and then it gets deep, deep, where they could swim, but not too deep, because my, my oldest granddaughter can still stand up and it it's about right here on her. So yeah, I love that that um, new little area. So that's where we'll, I'll be taking them from now on. I'm having a hard time talking. I'll tell you why. <laughs> Even though you're not asking, I'll tell you why. Yesterday, um, I took what I thought was two ibuprofen. Oh my God, see my hands are shaking. I can't stop shaking. Um, um, many of y'all know or yeah, some of y'all know that um, I was diagnosed diagnosed with PTSD, bipolar tendencies, social anxiety, and depression. And so the only thing, the only medicine that I could really take that didn't affect me really bad was Wellbutrin. And so I still had two left in the bottle and I didn't have my glasses on. I could have killed myself. <laughs> Not really. But anyway, I uh, and they're 300 milligrams each. Um, I think the only thing that's really saving me is the fact that they're time released. So they're not just boom, it didn't just hit me all at once because I have 600 milligrams in me right now. But I did it last night, but I'm feeling really jittery and I'm having a hard time getting my thoughts together. I don't know why I decided to get on the live event when I can't get my thoughts together. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I accidentally took two Wellbutrin instead of two ibuprofen because the bottle looked the same. And I think. We're, we get the um, the generic version of Wellbutrin, and it's called bu bupropion or something. But when you don't have your glasses, because you see the BU, it looked like ibuprofen. So I took it. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm glad I'm glad I'm okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I mentioned that story. Oh, because I said I couldn't talk. I'm having a hard time talking today. Okay, I'm gonna refresh in a minute. Ben Bendao says, can you make an easy tutorial for begin... Oh, I just refreshed and I lost your spot. Can you make an easy tutorial for beginners to make a slipper? Oh, haven't you seen my... one? My very first slipper on this channel was a super, super easy slipper. And it's my most viewed um, video to date. It's like got like a million something views on it everyone loves it and all it is is a rectangle and i show you how to turn that into a slipper but yeah go look for that i think it might be called super easy glamour super easy slipper something like that but if you go to if you click on videos on my on my youtube channel um and then down there you'll see a bunch of pages go to the very first or second page and you'll find um that particular slipper the only thing about that slipper is because it's a rectangle it kind of gather I, I kind of draw string it at the toe and then you gather it so there is a pucker at the toe and some people don't like that but that was just for super super big be beginners who only knew how to single crochet and could only make square or rectangle so that's why I made that but yeah go check it out I have like four or five slipper tutorials on my channel so yeah go find them but I am 
trying to think of another easy design because like I said, that seems to be my number one video that everyone watches on my channel. So I want to give them another one. And I thought I did by putting those other ones on there, but those are not half as popular as, as the one I'm talking about. So, all right. Yeah, go look for it. Um, and let me see. Lily says, oh, did you get my PM about me becoming an aunt? For oh, yes, I forgot. I'm so sorry. I, I meant to text. I meant to I am back and, and congratulate you. Congratulations. Yay. <laughs> you can be an auntie. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm totally making patterns and knitting and crocheting for the little one. Excited. <laughs> cool. I'm so excited for you. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be a glamour again, too. Um, my daughter, she's 24 years old. She's having a baby girl. They're about 90% sure that, she, that it's a girl. So yay! Can't wait to hold another glamma baby. <laughs> and Lily says, oh my gosh, no wonder your hands are shaking. Yeah. <laughs> my, actually, my hands are, are what's visibly shaking. But the way my hands look shaking like that, that's what I actually feel like inside. Inside, I feel like everything inside is shaking, too. It's just really weird. So I need to kind of keep track of how I'm feeling in case it gets worse or something. Because it's time release, you know, it might get worse as that as the day goes on. I'm having such a hard time talking. I feel like Paula Abdul on um, Dancing with the Stars. No, on So You Think You Can Dance. She has the hardest time talking. She Just to say one little sentence, it takes her like... She talks like that, and I'm like, oh, my God, just spit it out. <laughs> anyway, I shouldn't be mean, but it's like, ah, I know what she's trying to say, but she has a hard time saying it, and now I know how she feels. <laughs> um, Kim Thompson says, hi, Glamour, miss you and everyone. <laughs> hi, welcome. <laughs> Glad you could make it. Um, so, yeah, Loretta says, I suffer from severe depression, anxiety, and possible Parkinson's. You know, sometimes I feel like I've got Parkinson's too, because I don't know, if you guys look closely on some of my videos, um, I'll be showing you something and my finger will just start shaking for no reason. I can't control it, or my thumb. And so what I do so that y'all don't notice it so much is I just, I either move my hand out of the camera or I I touch something, you know, I, I, I actually like hold something so that the shaking stops but yeah i almost wonder if i'm starting to get that too um and then she continues to say but thanks to facebook youtube and you glamour it helps so much you have taught me so much that it keeps my mind clear oh that's good i'm so glad yeah that's exactly why i started crocheting because of the, those issues that i have i needed something to occupy my hands and my mind to, to not keep thinking about things that i didn't want to think about Lily says baby fever. <laughs> yeah, so you'll be seeing um, maybe some um, baby out, some more baby outfits. I only have one baby outfit on my channel, um, but yeah, you'll probably be seeing more baby outfits or baby blankets or something on my channel since I'll be crocheting for my big girl. <laughs> okay, uh, Loretta says ah, congrats. Vanessa, oh, you remembered her name, yay. <laughs> yeah, thank you, I'll pass the, the congratulations on to her. Um, maybe she'll watch this, you know, I don't know, maybe on her spare time. She doesn't like to watch, I don't think she watches me. <laughs> I think sometimes she watches my, my glam channel, my makeup tutorials, I think sometimes she watches those. Um, and I'm glad that she did when she used to because she's the one that got me into makeup and stuff. Um, I mean, I've always worn makeup, but she's the one that really got me into new makeup techniques. I'm like, where'd you learn that? She says, YouTube tutorials. So then I went and looked and then I um, thought, you know what, I'm going to make a, a YouTube glam channel for 50 plus women. Um, and maybe just because everyone was always asking me, Glamo, how do you stay so young looking? And um, how do you grow your hair and how do you do your nails? And I thought, hey, you know, my crochet channel isn't really the appropriate place to, I guess, talk about all this. Or, I mean, it is. It's I can put anything on my channel that I want. But you get some of those um, mean-spirited people that are like, are we talking nails or are we going to crochet here? <laughs> so I thought I'll just make another channel because I was getting a lot of questions about my hair and nails and, and my skin regimen and my makeup. So. So she used to watch my channels, um, and I'm glad that she did, because I'm like, how am I doing? And you know, what can I improve on? Um, 
are they too long? Um, do I talk too much? Which, yeah, I already knew that. I do talk too much. But she says, no, you're doing good, Mom. So awesome. <laughs> uh, so she probably won't watch this live event, though. Lily says, that always happened to me when I took my asthma medicine when I was younger. Oh, you got really shaky inside? Yeah. I've got asthma, too. <laughs> I'm just falling apart. Um, Lily says, shaking on the inside is so strange. I know it. I feel like, yeah, it's like nothing can calm you down. That's kind of how my brain feels. That's why I, I get the social anxiety and everything, too. I, I'm doing so much better, guys. When I was in Washington, I hadn't left my house in like a year. Adam would go to the store for me. He'd even go yarn shopping for me. I'm going everywhere now. <laughs> I go to Walmart. I go take my my daughter to lunch. We I drive around San Antonio. So I'm doing so much better. I would say that I'm 80% better. I still, I don't know what does it, but sometimes I revert back to having bad days and I can't leave the house or be around people. But it's it's far in between. Yeah, it's mostly good days now. So yay! I think what it was is I've, I'm back with my glamour girls. I think I got so depressed up there without my glamour girls, and I felt so guilty for leaving them. That once I got back here, I started getting so much better. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta stay in Texas now. Unless they move to another state, then I'll be moving to another state too. Because uh, not only because I love them, but because my health is at risk when I'm away from them. Because I love them so much. <laughs> Lily says. Crafting is the best therapy out there. Yep, and that's exactly why I started crocheting. I knew how to make a chain and a single crochet, and that was it. But I thought, you know, I really enjoyed it, and that's what I need right now. And I enjoyed it so much more this time when I learned it. I'd just been crocheting two years. Um, but three, three months after learning to crochet again, I thought, you know what? I'm going to start my own channel. Um and make it mostly for beginners and try to explain it as easily as possible the way I know I needed it explained to me. So that's what I did. And then here we are two years later. <laughs> I'm at almost 80,000 subscribers. Yay. Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you for tuning in to me. I can't believe it. I thought, I, you know, because you think of yourself as little old me out there in the cyber world. No one's going to find me. But the channel grew so fast and <clears throat> I'm only at 80,000, but I've only been doing, I've only had the channel for two years. So that's actually a pretty good rate. So I'm so excited. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for being a part of my crochet glam fam. Um, I think I'm missing some, I think it, I think it um, jumped up on me. Yeah. Happy crochet knit is in here. Hi, welcome. She says, I went to San Antonio and was hoping to get together, but I got to, I got no reason. Oh, darn it. You did. Re you did. Um, I'm sorry. I've just had so much going on with the girls and my daughter and my son. I am so sorry that if I didn't respond, I thought I did. Um, darn it. She says, and was hoping to get together, but I got no response from you. It was it was back in March. I kind of March or April. I kind of remember that thinking, wow. Someone that watches my channel is going to be right here near me. Um, it would have been cool to maybe meet up at Starbucks or something or go to lunch and have a salad or something. I'm so sorry. Um, but, yeah, you say the next comment was maybe next time. Yes, yes, uh, maybe next time. Things are settling down a little bit more for me. Um, and that's why I'm able to do this live event. I'm having a good day today. Um, I'm, I'm, My spirits are up today. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I probably was still not doing very well in March and April. Um, I was probably still, I would say probably 90% where I couldn't leave the house a lot. So yeah, I'm sorry. But anyway, Patricia Thompson, hi, you're in here. <laughs> she says, hi, Glamour. I was logged in. My daughter's name is Kim. Oh, so I was talking to you when, when I was saying Kim. I don't know how that happened. Miss you and everyone. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was you that said that. I miss you, too. I miss my live events. So maybe I can do this more often. Um, let me see. 
Lily says, you can make long videos. Listening to you talk is not a bother. <laughs> you listen to your subscribers, not the haters. That's right. And that's what I do. Um, and so for any of y'all who might be thinking of starting your own channels, just be prepared for the haters. I really wasn't prepared for that. Um, because I thought, who would go on a crochet channel and, and be hateful or mean-spirited? But, ooh, they can be mean. Just today, I got one comment on a video that I made back in Washington. It has those little orange swatches, and it's a, a tip that I was sharing with y'all on how to size patterns up or size patterns down or whatever. And she says, why did a 20-second tip take seven minutes of a video? And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so I just didn't respond. I'm like, eh. see, that just, that comment right there would have probably um, made me sad for like two days, you know, in the past when I first started this channel. But it doesn't anymore because it just doesn't. I have so many people that are positive in here and that are very encouraging that that just rolls off my back and it doesn't even make an impact anymore. I just thought, wow, <laughs> how rude. Um, anyway, so I'm glad you don't get bored listening to me, Lily. <laughs> Lily says, "Woo, you are tough. That is one big step going out there. I am proud of you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. And then Ben Bendow says, do you have another YouTube channel? I have lots of YouTube channels. That's why I'm always so busy. Um, if you go to this channel, the, the, the homepage, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see my face in one section. And all those little thumbnails are channels that I have. So, yeah, I have a makeup channel called Glam It Up With Glamour. I have... Um, obviously this channel I have a wake up with glamour that I was doing a lot of live events in but you know I wasn't doing that well so I kind of slowed down on that <coughs> excuse me so I'm hoping to be able to start that up again I've got glamour's bedtime stories and I don't remember what else <laughs> you'll have to go look at, at my homepage um, I think it says Priya or Priya says hi you are looking so beautiful oh thank you is that a yorkie on your thumbnail picture oh adorable <laughs> i'm such an animal lover but thank you so much for that compliment <laughs> um let me see i'm so glad to see you in here i don't think i've ever talked to you live before it's so awesome because you know like i said there's eighty thousand subscribers and i've probably only chatted back and forth with maybe i'd say 20 or 30 people and um yeah so it's so awesome when i when i get a new subscriber that says hello to me that's so awesome yay glad you could make it um loretta says i haven't left my house in almost two months and yes severe insomnia and i feel you about falling apart lol i turned 51 in march i'll be 51 what is today 21 Today's the 21st. I'll be 51 on the 26th, which I think is Saturday. <sighs> oh, well. It's how we feel on the inside, but that's not always good either. Sometimes I feel like I'm old. <laughs> anyway, I don't let it bother me. It's just, you know, hey, we all knew we were going to get old, right? <laughs> Victoria Danielson, hi, you're a new face in here. So glad you made it. She says, hi, Glamma. This is the first time I actually get to see you live. I live in Sweden, so the time zones are troublesome. Oh, so is it like around 4.30 or so over there? Is it, is it um, evening time over there too, or is it really late at night or really early in the morning? <laughs> um, Pat says, I lost contact for a short while. Oh, did you? Darn. I hope I don't lose contact with anyone. We got new... Um, Wi-Fi towers here in the RV um, and so my connection supposed to be a lot better but yeah it was really really poor um, Wi-Fi connection here because they hadn't updated it in like 10 or 15 years so finally they updated it so I was hoping I wouldn't lose anyone like I used to but I'm glad you only lost contact for a second <laughs> okay happy crochet says we can go to a yarn shop out there in now there is one in Castle Hills. Oh, there is one that one of my subscribers said, have you ever been to, I think she called it Yarn Barn? And I even looked it up 
and I saw where it was and I still have never made it there. I need to go because it just sounds like a yarn barn. What? It just sounds like there's walls and walls of yarn. So yes, I want to go, but I need to, but at the same time, I don't want to, I'm going to want to buy a lot and I have nowhere to store it. So, <laughs> but yeah, we could go yarn shopping possibly. Wouldn't it be cool if a bunch of y'all came to San Antonio and I could meet all of y'all at the same time? That would be awesome. <laughs> take over Joann's or um, take take over a whole area, the whole yarn section at Joann's or Michael's or something. <laughs> or the yarn barn. Have a, have a glam fam party. That sounds fun. What, what also sounds fun, and I've mentioned this before when I first started my channel. I've already been on for... No, it hasn't been. Yeah, I've been on for an hour. It's 11.03. No, I, I got on at 10.30, right? Okay, so I've only been on a half hour. Whew. Okay, because I knew that it didn't seem like no hour. I'm like, ooh, time does fly. But when I first started this channel, I've only been on one cruise. Um, but when I first started this channel, I thought, ooh, wouldn't it be fun? Because if you go as a group, um, I know this might sound like a lot. It's only $500. But that's actually quite cheap. It's a group rate. It's quite cheap. Um, Five hundred dollars for seven, six night, seven day cruise. Your food is all paid for. Everything but your alcohol is paid for. You get to stop in different ports and go shopping and stuff. To me, that's a steal. Five hundred dollars, something to save up for every year. But what I was thinking, it would be so awesome if somebody could just start a. Um, or me, whoever, I don't know, could start a little um, ah, a little thing where we're all going to go and meet at the cruise. Because what they do, if there's big groups like that, sometimes they, they will let you use one whole area or room to gather together and either have, like, I don't know, a dance night or a comedy night. Or for us, we could have a crochet along or something. That would be so fun. I would love to do a crochet along with y'all. I don't know exactly how to do it here on. It just doesn't make sense to me to do it online because I feel like that is what I'm doing when I'm teaching y'all my tutorials. I feel like I am crocheting along with you and I'm showing you how to do it. So I don't know what the difference is of crochet alongs other than maybe, let's say you're making a sweater. This tutorial, you make the back. The next tutorial, you make the front. The next tutorial, you make the sleeve. I don't know. I don't know what a crochet along is. Um, and I don't have time to go watch one. <laughs> but it just, I don't know. I, I don't like making tutorials in parts, like part one, part two, part three. Because I, when I was first starting to crochet, I didn't like having to go look for, for you know, for part three now, part two now, or whatever. I Anyway, maybe it's just me being, being a big old baby. <laughs> um, Lily says, I don't get it. Why would a person watch something not appealing to them? <laughs> <laughs> to be able to leave rude comments. Yep. Don't get it. Gets to me as well when it happens. It may even linger a few days. Yep. That's right. It does. Okay. I'm going to refresh and I know I'm going to, it's going to jump up on me. So I hope I don't miss any comments. If, if I've already read a comment before yours or after yours and I skipped yours, it's because this thing jumps up on me. So if I did that, then leave a, leave, leave the comment again if you want. And don't forget, that's the word I was looking for earlier when I couldn't when I couldn't remember. I said that there's like a 30 second or a one minute lag time. That's the word I was looking for. I couldn't think of it, lag. It just kind of, I'll say it now, but it, you guys won't actually, or it won't show up on my thing till like a half a second, I mean half a minute or a minute later. Whew, I'm having a hard time thinking. Um, Lily says, but then I remember why I do what I do and kick those bad thoughts out and keep on going. <laughs> Love is the strongest. That's right. That's right. And then Happy Crochet. What is your name, Happy Crochet? I feel funny calling you Happy Crochet. <laughs> I'll be 50 next month. Not looking forward to it. LOL. Yep. I feel like I'm right on the hill. And especially when I was 50, I felt like I was on the hill. And now that I'm 50 turning 51 I feel like I'm sliding down the hill <laughs> oh well we're beautiful anyway right we're all beautiful women and it doesn't matter and there is beauty in age as well you know because we're wiser and life isn't as crazy as it was when I was younger so yeah I'm kind of glad I'm, I am where I am 
<laughs> okay, anyway, let me go to the next one. Sweden and Norway has the time zone, has the same time zone. We've got early evening. Okay, it's six o'clock um, where, where Lily is. Okay, cool. So yeah, y'all are evening time. Victoria says 1802 right now. I usually see your videos the day after, so I'm really happy to be here now. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you, Victoria. Um, so yeah, I'm so glad that everyone that's in here got to be in here. Let me see if I can see how many people are in here with us. There's 11. There's 11 of us in here. Yay. <laughs> okay. Um, and I know I didn't give y'all much notice. So I know there probably would be a few more, but okay. Bria says, I really love your crochet tutorials and just keep making them. Yay. I, I will keep making them and you keep making what I show you. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you appreciate, um, you know, someone the other day just wrote me a long letter just telling me how much they appreciate the time and effort that I put into my tutorials. It may not seem like a lot, but there's a lot of, um, there's a lot that goes into making a, a video tutorial. Even if it's just 30 minutes, there's a lot that goes into it. Even if it's just five minutes, there's a lot that goes into it. So I, it's just felt really good to be, um, told that they appreciate it, that they acknowledged, um, what goes on behind the scenes um because usually everyone just says you know thank you for this pattern or thank you for that which i love getting you know i, I love getting those compliments and stuff but not very many people think about the you know what it takes to get those tutorials out there it takes a lot <laughs> okay um da, 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 da. Um, yeah, okay i already read that one Happy Crochet says the yarn barn is not there anymore. It isn't. Bummer. When I looked it up, it must have still been there because it, um, well, no, I guess it would still show you on the GPS even if it's, even if the business closed down, I guess. I don't know. That's sad. Um, you said, I went looking for it when I was there. Oh, man. <laughs> God, I feel really bad that I didn't, I didn't meet up with you too, but. I already apologized about that, but you see, that's how I am with myself. I just keep kicking myself. Okay. Okay, I lost everyone. Where am I? Sorry. Loretta says, hey, I'm about 10 minutes from Michael's here in Tennessee. Let's go. Wow, I wish I, well, when I lived in Washington, my house up there was so close to Joanne's and to, um, and to just, yeah, I had access to yarn so much more. But now we're in like more of a rural area. Um, so where I live, it's like 30 minutes away from San Antonio. And there's no yarn shops here. So, yeah, that's that's something that I would, that's a dream of mine that I would like to do is have, have a yarn shop here. Yarn slash used bookstore slash coffee house. <laughs> Um, ben Dow says, okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. And I'll uh, try to announce it with more, um, more in advance, you know, so that y'all can be more prepared. <laughs> okay. And usually they last about an hour. Sometimes they drag on a little longer because I get to talking and answering questions and stuff. But I just, I love doing this. So I'm so happy that y'all are in here. But he says, could you do some knitting square or rectangles? Um, could I do tutorials on them? Is that what you mean? Um, yeah, I, I, I guess. Um, but, you know, my knitting, I've got six knitting tutorials on my channel, and I got negative comments like, this is not supposed to be a knitting channel. I thought this was a crochet channel, and I'm like, I never really said it was just going to be crochet. If you go look at my very um, first introductory video, I said there might be art on here. There might be knitting, crocheting. You never know um, just because it's it's anything made with love by Glamour. <laughs> so, but yeah, I got a couple people saying, you know, and my viewers, my subscribers went down when I put those knitting um, videos up. So I, I'm kind of scared to put more knitting up. <laughs> Um, Leah, um, Lily says cruise. Oh, okay. You, spe <laughs> you spelled it with an S. Um, yeah, 
You said, that reminds me is some weird way that I wanted to tell you that if you and Adam want to visit Norway in the next two years, you have a free place to stay. Ah, that would be cool, especially after seeing your Instagram little little um, Snapchat videos that you sent of, of what it looks like over there. It looks so beautiful over there. So, yeah, I don't think we'll ever be able to afford it, but <laughs> if we ever can, that would be a beautiful um, area to go visit. And thank you for the invite. Thank you for the invite to stay in your home. <laughs> Patricia says, I would love that. Go with everyone on the cruise. Wouldn't that be so fun? Oh, my word. We could all hang out by the pool. We could all have tables next to each other where we eat dinner and stuff. Because there's there's every evening it's a formal night where you can wear a gown um, and just be dressed up. And the guys can wear suits. And then after is a show. It's like some kind of show all the time, right after, like an hour after dinner, half hour after dinner. And then my favorite part was always going back to my cabin and seeing what towel creature I was going to find on my bed next. They leave you different animal towel creatures. And it's so awesome. But yeah, I'm thinking we could hang out by the pool. We could have a few drinks and then we can do, we could get together like for an hour somewhere, maybe use one of the rooms. Maybe if we scheduled it in advance with the cruise people, let them know that we would like a, a room, not a room, but like a, a big area for an hour a day and just crochet with, e with each other and talk to each other as we're crocheting. That way we could truly be crocheting with each other. <laughs> but yeah, I pretend in my head that y'all are doing that with me anyway, but it could be live. So yeah, I would love to do that. Um, Happy Crochet says her name is Deborah. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> okay, Terry is in here. Hi, Terry. I'm glad you made it. You said, did you ever get to finish the blanket for your mom? No, <laughs> I haven't finished it yet. I actually got stuck. I I can't figure out the pattern on row like 19 or 20 or something like that. But I think it's because I had a lot on my mind um, and I had tutorials I needed to make for all of my channels. And so I, I think once I sit down with it, I'll be able to figure it out and finish it because it's going to be so pretty. I think um, I just I just had learned how to make that pineapple stitch. So yeah, and it was my very first pineapple stitch. Now I've made a couple of them, um, and so I think I have the idea of it down. So I think I I probably would understand the pattern a little bit easier this time. Um, I think you said you called it pineapple. Would love to see a tutorial. Yeah, I don't know that I would make a tutorial on that because man, it's so each row is like totally different and it would take me forever to explain it. I would have to do like part one, part two, part three type thing on, on a, on a blanket like that, but maybe I will someday. Um, Mandy. Hi, Mandy. You're new in here. <laughs> Welcome. She says, I'm from Germany and my English is not so good. I love your tutorials and I hope you make more. Oh, I'm so glad that you joined me and uh, yeah, and that you crochet along with me and I'm definitely going to be making more. As a matter of fact, um, what I've got kind of scheduled is um, about two months ago, I had a gentleman say, why do you only make women's things? And I'm like, I've tried to ask y'all um, what what would you like me to crochet next and stuff. And I even addressed men. I said, I know that I've, that twenty percent of my viewers are men. Um, are there any um, items that you would like for me to crochet? I'll learn how to do them and then put them on here. But I've never gotten men hardly ever talk to me in here. <laughs> so um, I used to have one. Remember when I used to do live events on Wake Up with Glamo? I forgot his name now, but anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, I'm going to try to come up with a pattern for a necktie <laughs> and I'll give it to Adam and I'll have him model it and I'll use his picture as the thumbnail picture for the video. But I want to do that. So that's kind of what I'm thinking I'll do. I'm going to be making some baby stuff and I'm going to update my um, beginners learn how to crochet one through six videos I'm going to update that because it was two years ago when I made those other ones and when I look back at it I didn't realize that I shouldn't um, have the camera zoomed in because when you do you'll notice if you go look at them um, beginners lessons one through six the background kind of moves like 
your hands will be crocheting, but the background kind of moves and it makes it makes me seasick when I watch those back. But I get so many compliments on those videos thanking me that they it taught them how to crochet. So I'm so happy about that. But I think I'm going to redo those. And um, there's a couple of them that I cut off abruptly because um, I either, I, I don't remember exactly why, but um, so I want to just redo them. I, I think it accidentally got cut off. Um, so anyway, um, I want to redo them because I know that I've got a lot of new subscribers. And I think an updated version of my beginner lessons would be awesome. So that's kind of on the on the uh, on the schedule. Um, Loretta says it's pretty cool here. I'm right now on the Tennessee Virginia line. Oh, the state line runs right down the middle of the street downtown. So I'm 10 minutes from Michaels and about 10 minutes from Walmart and 10 minutes from oh yeah the Tennessee Walmart. Wow, awesome. Um, Autumn Weaves, hi, says, nice to join you from the UK. It's 1712 here. 1712, so that's, it's, so that's 5, 5, 12 p.m. over there. Hey, figured it out. Took me a while, <laughs> but I figured it out. Um, so I'm so glad that you joined me. Thank you. Is I think this is your first time coming into a live event because I don't recognize the name. So yeah, I'm so glad you were able to join us. And I'll probably be on for another 15 minutes. So if you have any questions or comments, get them in right now. Because at 1130, I'm going to be signing off. <laughs> All right. Um, Priya says, I really love your necklace. It is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. My daughter, um, Finesse, bought it for me a couple weeks ago. I think she bought it at, oh, she bought it at Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Um, let me see. I think I need to refresh. Ooh, refreshed and everything bounced up. I hope I don't miss anyone. Oy. Loretta says, I got an extra room here in Tennessee for a weekend. Oh, cool. I can come stay with you too, huh? Awesome. I could see the whole world. <laughs> if I keep getting invitations like this, that would be awesome. Um, so thank you. Lily says, sure, no problem. And you know, tickets are cheaper for you than, oh, really? Buying them from the U.S. to Norway is cheaper than vice versa? Wow. And coming by boat when I move, I am not putting my butt, oh, I'm not putting my butt in a flight seat ever again. Hate flying. I, I don't really like flying either, especially if it's like four hours or more. Oh, my goodness. It's And those seats are not comfortable. They don't recline enough. It's like, eh, unless you're... Unless you have your own plane or you're in, um, what's the front area? <laughs> first class. And I never fly first class. It's always coach. Um, I just moved my thing and now I can't find where I am. Okay, Lily says crochet thread tie. Yes, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use crochet thread. <clears throat> there aren't very many videos on YouTube for neckties and the ones I have seen um, they're using acrylic yarn, so it's a little too bulky, I think. So I think I'm going to do it in, in crochet thread. That's exactly what, what, I, what I'm going to do. I just have to, I have to finish thinking up the pattern in my head. Because I'm not going to make just the simple square tie, because I don't see that many people wearing them. So I'm going to make the, uh, the, the one with the little, ugh, I can't think. <laughs> that medicine is freaking me out. Um, the little point at the bottom. <laughs> um, and Lily also says, and you said it the second I put my comment in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, Deborah says, it has been nice talking to you, Glamma. Gotta go do my morning workout. Wow. I, I, uh, I'm really proud of you for doing that because I cannot get my butt to start exercising again. I wish I could keep telling myself, I'm going to do it every morning. I'm going to do it every morning. But, you know, I get my, I get my coffee. Actually, I haven't been drinking coffee in the past week or two, but I used to get my coffee. Now I just sit there with water and I answer all my comments that I can on my, on all my channels <clears throat> and on Facebook and on Instagram and on everything else. <laughs> um, and then the morning's gone. By the time I look up, it's one o'clock already. So yeah, I, that's why I bought a bike. So I can just go do laps <laughs> or walk. Um, so yeah, I didn't finish reading your comment. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. 
go do my workout. Hopefully, I'll be able to come in the next live video. Have a great day. All right, thank you. You have a great day, too, and thank you for coming in and saying hello to me. It was so good chatting with you, and uh, yeah, bye. <coughs> my throat hurts. Where am I? I keep losing. Pat says, my son thinks you only look like you're in your 30s. Got to go do our tea now. Look forward to your next live event. It can, If I can catch you, love all your videos. Love always. All right, Pat, thank you so much. Thank you for coming in here and saying hi to me and chit-chatting with me. And thank your son for saying that I look like I'm in my 30s. <laughs> That's awesome. That's shaving 20 years off of me <laughs> but he says i also made your flower ring and it turned out beautiful yeah i'm wearing mine <laughs> i thought yeah i'm gonna wear my ring i love i love this pink and green one the most i made a red and green one but i like my pink one better obviously it's my favorite color <laughs> um let me see lily says the flying is okay but the shaking and the sounds and the motors just creeps me out and I am a true sea girl. I dream of building my own houseboat one day, build an, build an entire craft floor. Awesome. Put a see-through. I've always wanted to live somewhere where it's a see-through floor where you can see the fish swimming around and stuff. <laughs> and I've also always wanted a fish tank headboard too. <laughs> Lily says, you should have a walk partner. That makes it fun and easy to exercise. Yeah, um, Finesse sometimes joins me, so that's awesome. And it, yeah, it, especially if I, like I told her, I'm going to do it every morning at 10 o'clock. That only lasted two or three mornings. <laughs> but um, she only came with me once. And it, so it's like, eh, I'm not very motivated. But if I knew someone else was expecting me to go, then I would definitely do it. <clears throat> Loretta says, it was awesome to finally figure out how to get in here and chat. Got to run. I love you. Bye, Loretta. Thank you for coming in here and saying hi it was really awesome chatting with you and getting to know everyone better and it's 11 25 so if you have any last comments or questions get them in because i'll be saying goodbye soon um let me see i wonder if, i hope i don't lose anybody okay maybe i should refresh to see if there's any comments because Oh my word, what did I do? Okay, I'm still there. Whew. I hope y'all didn't get any kind of interruption or something because I just refreshed to see if there was any new comments. And there, yeah, there's, there's Lily right here. She says, I will have glass floor. Love that. <laughs> yeah, doesn't that sound like a really cool idea? Uh, yeah, you could probably see the sharks down there too, though. <laughs> I don't know about that being cool. Lily says, I have an idea on an outdoor fireplace with a lounge sofa and see-through floor. Imagine that. Sitting there, fire it up, and have the starry skies. Yep, that sounds beautiful. <laughs> Autumn Weaves says, a Fitbit might help. It encourages you to do 10,000 steps. Oh, cool. Yeah. Buy something that you can put on your wrist and just just walk <laughs> I see people doing it all the time and I wish I could lose weight just by watching them do laps but it doesn't work that way I gotta actually go out there and do them <laughs> but yeah I like that thing that um oh there's always little funny posts where it says I wish crocheting took weight off of you or I, I'm always liking those because yeah I I I'm too busy trying to come up with ideas for tutorials and making tutorials that I just don't have time to exercise, but I need to make the time. And then I tell myself, okay, if you don't have time to exercise, you have to at least start eating healthier. That way there's nothing to exercise off. <laughs> but yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to start saying goodbye. Um, it's 1126. Oh, now it's 1127. So I will wait a couple more minutes, um, but it's been really, really awesome talking to you. And uh, I'll let you know maybe with a little bit more time in advance when I'm going to do this live event. Um, and I'm hoping to start doing my live events on Wake Up With Glamour more often. Um, and yeah, I think I just saw a comment. Autumn says, being able to watch someone else and lose weight would be great. <laughs> I know I started to do that on my Glam It Up with Glamour channel. I only made a couple videos, 
and I just got busy. You get busy with life. <laughs> Lily says, have to get back to my crochet and knitting here, preparing for a craft fair, late November, stressful. I've done craft shows and they are stressful. Have a nice day. I am so glad you have a nice day. Good to see you. I'm having a good day. Good. Thank you. Um, good to see you. Love from Norway. Thank you so much, Lily, for coming in here and being a part of the whole live event thing. I can always count on you to be in here with me. So that's awesome. I love talking to you. And uh, yeah, I love getting to know you. You and I are so much alike. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to say goodbye. Oh, wait. Bria says, I really like your live videos. Please do more. Are you okay? So do you like them here on the Made with Love by Glamour channel? I hope I don't get people saying, I don't want to watch live events. I want a crochet tutorial. <laughs> but I'll try to do this. You know, when I was in Washington, my very first live event, I had said that I would do a live event every Tuesday. Um, so I would because I was trying to do tutorial Tuesdays. And I thought I'll replace one of the tutorial Tuesdays with a live event every Tuesdays, but or at least once a month. I was thinking of doing them every month on a Tuesday, the first Tuesday of the month. So maybe I'll do that again. If I decide to do that, I'll make a video letting you all know that that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and yeah, and let me know. Anyone who watches this later, even though you're not in the live event, let me know down below if you like these live Q&A events and uh, if you'd like to see more of them. <laughs> and also, I wanted to let y'all know that if you go to my YouTube homepage, there's a discussion tab. Um, just make a separate comment and leave me your um, your requests on what you want me um, to make for you. And I'm not saying that I can make it all or that I'll make it all because I may not know how to do it. But sometimes when I can't figure out, when I can't think of what I want to make a tutorial on, I'll go to my discussion tab and I'll start taking them down in order of how they were put on there maybe. Or if I want a real super easy, fast tutorial, I'll go look for one that I know could be quick and fast. Um, so yeah, go do that. Oh, I know there was something else that I wanted to mention to y'all. But I can't remember. <laughs> All right. Um, Autumn says, was nice to finally get into a live session. I'm off for a run in a little while. Have a great day. Woo, you too. You're going to be all healthy too. Yay. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming in here. And Priya says bye. Bye, Priya. And Lily says, of course, I'll always support you in your work, including your live events. Don't be a stranger. Cherry says, have a blessed day. Oh, thank you, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me here. It means a lot to me that y'all came in, you know, took some time out of your day just for little old me. <laughs> and, uh, if you think of anything that you want to ask me, um, write it down and put it on the fridge so that when I do my next live event, you'll be able to just go grab it and ask me your question or leave me your comment or something. Something that maybe you thought of that you wanted to ask me and forgot today. Just go ahead and write it down and ask me later. All right, guys. I love you so much. Don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget especially to love yourselves and everyone that you come in contact with. Um, Let's spread the love and be good to everyone so that at least our little corners of the world can can be better and not filled with so much hate and violence. All right, guys. I love you. Bye. Mwah.